Now Kemp on the run has a man open. Melon Fonwu. Let's see the call. They're talking it over, getting lobbied by the Huskies. Incomplete. Man, what a great job coming across the field. That's what I wrote about next week as well. Georgia is at Tennessee next yeah, week. Yeah, and this intercepted. Picked off by Eddie Jackson. Jackson still running. Looks for a block, gets it. To the five, touchdown Alabama. Cowboys friends, family, ah! What's going on, y'all? I'm back. I got some real good Chicago in the background, man. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Fuss the King. All right, y'all, I'm going to leave that going in the background. As y'all know, I'm a student of the game when it comes to football and 100%. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. When it comes to music, baby, I love, um, those old groups like Chicago, some of the groups that I played uh, before on this channel, man. So check it out. Good music is good music no matter what. And make sure you check out my music. It's in the description box. So for this Versus series, and thank you guys so much for watching because I've been getting just an extreme amount of good feedback on this Versus series. And I'm thankful for that. Uh, the comments, eat them up. Tell your friends, like, share, and subscribe. And I got a good one for today. And not a good one because it's going to be a lot of glory, but it's a good one because I want your guys' opinion on these two prospects. Because just being honest, this is going to be one of the more controversial ones. So with that being said, let's get into it. Eddie Jackson, Alabama safety versus Connecticut safety, OB Mellon Fondo. So, well, let's start with Alabama safety, number four, Eddie Jackson. And... I got to be honest with you, NFL fans, Cowboys fans, Alabama fans, whoever's watching this, if your team needs a safety, um, I liked a lot of things. I just didn't love everything. So just some of his strengths, he has returnability. He moves very smooth. So that's one of the things that I noticed with Eddie Jackson. He moves extremely smooth. Um, played on that basically an all-star defense for Alabama. So he didn't look out of place in that defense, in that secondary um, you're looking at guys like Marlon uh, Humphreys, who was in that secondary. Um, you're looking at uh, Rayshon, no, Rayshon Millen, McMillan plays for Ohio State. Um, what's the Alabama linebacker? Uh, nonetheless, they had Jonathan Allen on that defensive line, Tim Williams on that defensive line. Um, so, But he doesn't look out of place. So the question is, what does he do well? Um, well... The thing is, for him to be such a good athlete, I didn't really see great ball skills. And so I'm thinking maybe I will see a great, great tackler. I didn't see a great tackler. So I'm asking myself, what does Eddie Jackson do great? Um, I won't say that, you know, I won't say that he is a bad player. I just didn't see a guy who was who 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 blew me out the water. Um, you know, these safeties, all of these cornerbacks are gonna be tricky because they tested so good. And especially Obi Mel Obi Melifonwu, who I'm gonna to get to next, he tested so good, but what is he in the NFL ranks? Because he may not go to a good team. Is he going to change life? Yes, he can return kicks, but I didn't see a great cover guy, and I didn't see somebody who wanted to come up and thump you. You know, how he's used at the next level is going to be extremely important because I look at a safety who has good cover skills but sometimes took bad angles. In the games I watched, USC, Tennessee, uh, Western Kentucky, Texas A&M, and I even watched them as 2015 tape. I didn't see a great amount of ball production, so I'm just thinking, what is he? And this is one of those ones where I'm going to need you guys to help me out. What does Eddie Jackson do great? Because the tape I watched, I just couldn't find it. And I'm back. And I'm still listening to that good old Chicago. Now, like I said, that was not a knock on Eddie Jackson. You guys, I think he's a good player. I just want to see what he does extremely great. Because watching his tape, 
it did not jump out to me. And the linebacker I was thinking about in that last segment was Ruben Foster. So I just had a brain fart. My bad, y'all. So on to Obi Mellon Fumble. Listen, this is the one who is has an extreme buyer be well. So buyer, pff, buyer be well. Buyer beware. Know what you're getting with this kid. While he did blow the combine up, and if this was the Olympics, he would be the first pick overall. Is this the Olympics or is this the National Football League? If this is the National Football League, I want football players. And while I thought Melon Fonwu is good, I just don't see it. I don't. Uh, I see a tackler who looks timid. So as big as he is, and he has a great frame, uh, 6'4", 224, built, chiseled, I just don't see a guy who explodes. I'm looking at Buda Baker explode. I'm looking at Jamal Adams explode through contact. I'm looking at um, even Justin Evans from uh, from Texas Tech. I mean Texas A&M explode through contact. Um, you even think about the kid from NC State explode. I'm looking at guys who get to the ball and finish violently. Watch his tape. Watch four games: USF, Houston, Virginia, Cincy. My notes. Uh, doesn't have a mean streak. I got it here. Uh, got some of this, and I got more notes here. You know, doesn't doesn't have a mean streak. Uh, feet are okay at best. Um, he had a pick against Cincy, and I thought to myself, well, maybe he was great in coverage, but it's just like he just happened to be in the right place at the wrong time. Now, some GMs are going to look at his size. They're going to look at his height and say, we can fix this guy. We can make him as a tight, as, you know, a tight end eraser. He can come down. He can play corner. He's not going to play corner in the NFL. His feet aren't quick enough, and he's not aggressive enough at the line to play corner at the NFL level. Number two, you're looking at a safety who, if I want him to play strong, I'm going to need some more out of his tackling ability and, and down in the box. I need him to do more, and I did not see that on tape. What happens every year, though, is you go to the combine and you get these freaks. And Byron Jones, Cowboys fans, was one. And he's actually panned out in the NFL. The problem is Obi Melifonwu, his tape is third-round tape. He's going to get drafted in the first high second just because somebody's going to look and say, man, I just can't pass that up. But there are better football players. Marcus Williams from Utah, a better football player. He's a better safety. Tedrick Thompson, Colorado, a better safety. I've watched the tape, I know. So to me, and this is not a knock on him, but I just don't see a guy who is you know, you're with those premium picks, you want an NFL-ready type player. I just didn't see that out of Obi. Now, he does do some things well. He is always in good position, and he looks like a smart player. But his football instincts are just a tad bit slow. So this is just what my eyes tell me. I don't look at measurables too, too much because a lot of scouts and a lot of NFL GMs and, and all these quote-unquote football people, they get fooled by non-football things. So you guys come in my comments and let me know what you think about this because honestly, this is just the hard honest truth of it. The tape I watched, I just wasn't impressed. In the end, in this Versus series, two good players. But I use the word good very strongly because while I said those things about Obi, I don't think he's a bad player. I just think he has to be developed. And a premium pick for my team or for any team, at rather, you want a guy who's coming in competing for a starting job. Eddie Jackson, at, he gets my slight nod in this versus series just because of his pedigree, just because of Alabama. Maybe he couldn't get to the ball as rapidly just because, you know, he was playing with a bunch of dogs, Reuben Foster, uh, Marlon Humphreys. And Eddie Jackson is a good player. I just don't see a dog. But if I had to choose and if I was forced to draft one, it would be Eddie Jackson. That's not to say that Obi Mellon Fon, Fon Wu won't be great, but right now I just don't see it. It's your boy Fuster King, y'all. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for watching this content. I'm gone.